Hello, and welcome to this week's Generation Iron Podcast. Your host, me, Victor Martinez, Esan Farahi, Vlad Yudin, and Edward Mejia. Let's start off with the question of the day. So we got another week, another great question of the, of the day, of the week. Two questions of the day. The first question will be uh, from Bryce Henderson, 34. Uh, and that question is, can icing the testicles be a stronger testosterone booster than PEDs? Um, that's that question. Obviously, I can't answer. Doing I mean, what to the testicles? Vic- icing. To answer that question. <laughs> we have to... Answer the question. Wait, wait, wait a minute. The, it's a yes the, or no answer. The question, I have, I have, a, I have, a, I have opened the question. I don't understand. <laughs> he asked him if I put the, my balls in the eyes, yes. they get stronger? Not, no, they not get, the balls get stronger. You get stronger. Oh, you get stronger. <laughs> stronger than PEDs. Hmm. What do you, what do you think? Well, what do you uh, answer? I want to know the answer to that. Do you know, is there, is there some sort of like guidance regarding this? I mean, there's somebody mentioned that there's something that they recommend. I don't know. I mean, listen to, to answer that even better, you know, um, what's his name? Tucker from, from, uh, his name is Bryce Henderson. No, 34. No, 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 Bryce. But what's the guy's name from Fox that used to work there? Tucker, uh, Tucker, Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson. I think his thing, we're freaking zapping it with a laser. <laughs> Would do better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, infrared. What it was? It was infrared, not a laser. <laughs> yeah, Tucker Carson was promoting freaking flashing your nuts with a really? with infrared in order to have more testosterone. That will probably be better than icing it. But again, I'm not endorsing either one. You know, <laughs> just. Do the test, man. <laughs> no one, no one wants to put the balls in the ice, man. What, the, Listen, what's wrong man. with you? I, I, I mean, don't know, man. I don't know if you have no kids or anything. I don't know if you want to just, just go, um, you know, you know, just you know, come in a cup, store it if you want to do that. But um, you know, ice your balls, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You know, no, it's a cold not. plunge. It. Um, remember, they shrink. You know, cold plunge is something else. Ball plunge is all. I buddy. mean, it is ice, though. He's yeah, talking about but icing. It's not it. just the ball. I know, no, it's everywhere. Might as well just cold plunge. I say, <laughs> just get everything in there, you know. Yes. <laughs> cold plunge is more. I mean, after a while, you know, you're icing it. I mean, it's just gonna go inside you, you know. <laughs> just... What's the guy's name? Bryce Henderson. Henderson. Bryce Henderson, you get a bucket of protein and a uh, bucket. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a bucket of balls. <laughs> 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 What's the next question of the day? That was uh, your, this week's winner, Bryce Henderson, 34. Uh, the next question comes to uh, us for Vic, and that is from Built to Last. And Victor, from your unknown cousin, uh, why is Nick Walker so o- why is Nick Walker so overrated? How and why are his legs not matching his upper body? Yet dudes like Andrew Jackson, <clears throat> with one tiny flaw, hamstrings gets punished by judges, but they reward dudes with multiple floors for being uh, simply freaky. I don't know. I guess you don't like uh, Nick Walker. (laughs) Nick Walker. (laughs) But uh, it's one of those things that has to do with uh, maybe popularity. That's it. But Nick Walker's legs match his body. His huge Um, legs. Sometimes it can go a little off. And I I think with his torso being a little long, Mm. you can kind of, you can see it. A lot of times when he, you're on, you know, on the audience and yeah. on stage and some pictures, you know, I think he should just change his posing. But he does have he big fixes. legs. He fixes. He I mean, I, I see the new uh, posing, for, uh, especially for double bicep. Yeah. So he used to be, he used to be a little bit vacuum, bring your chest up. So to bring uh, his long torso. Yeah, I think uh, he needs to angle more. So right now he bring a chest up and squeezing abs. He's, he 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 fixed this. Problem. Yeah, yeah, just fix the posing and uh, I mean the one he does straight on. That's probably the one he's talking yeah. about. Where he's you know his upper body so superior. His legs aren't small. He's got huge yeah, legs, yeah, but like, yeah. when you see him and his upper body, it kind of gives you that effect of they, right. they do look smaller. And uh, he's huge. He's just really angling, you know, his posing. Um, but um, as far as Andrew Jack and, and Nick Walker, you know, it has to do with popularity, just like anything else, you know. I mean, are there other great players in every other sport that are not as, you know, well known and less popular? Of course, and they're just mm-hmm. much better. But it has to do 
with you know your, your following your following and people discussing you you're getting out there in social media um is andrew jack as active as nick walker um maybe not mm -hmm. you know and again nick walker is here so you'll see him more and uh, andrew jack is all the way on the other side dubai. of the world you know so yeah he's in dubai. that's the only thing i can say and uh as far as you know competing and all that you know i, I always think that the best men win and uh, you're always going to have the people that like to freak and the people who like the you know the aesthetic imbalance of mm -hmm. on the other side so do you think it's own. a popularity thing? Yes, yes. It's popular. Nick is, you know, I, I think, I believe he's younger too, right? Yeah, he's younger. In the 20s. Yeah, he's younger. So you're always going to get a, a little different. It's just not going to be it. And, uh, you know, I mean, Andrew Jack, you know, language barrier, Nick, you know, he connects more. So, you know, <laughs> it just has to do with, with so many factors. I can't really give you an individual answer, but that's, you know, in the scope of it all, that's the best I can do. You know? I really like uh, I really like uh, him. I, I can't wait to Who, see. Nick? Yeah, Nick Walker. I can I can't wait to see in, uh, Nick Walker in uh, in New York Pro. Oh, it's gonna be a great. Yeah, it's it's coming out soon. It's a great it's a great so, show. Be crazy show yeah. and we'll, we'll, it's in our backyard, which is great even exactly. better. You know, but um, it, it's always a great show in New York Pro. Oh, uh, it's, I mean, buy your tickets now, man, because if they're not sold out already, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So I don't even know if they're on sale, but it's definitely, so a lot of people are going to be left out. I mean, most people, some people are going to just stream it. Mm -hmm. If they do have streaming, I don't know yet, but it's going to be a good show. And uh, I know people uh, having seen an Olympian, I, I think Dexter did it after he's done the Olympia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, time. a few other people. So Nick yeah. is one of those guys that did the Olympia is going back to New York Pro and yeah. uh it's gonna Can we can we say New York Pro the third show of the year after Arnold Classic or based on importance yeah. is most important. Yes. Year. Yes it is. New York Pro is the show that if you win it on Saturday, you can still remember two months later who yeah. won. And you know, very few shows you can say that. Once you win yeah. it on Saturday, Monday everybody's forgotten and always the winner and always the winner has a good place in mr olympia always. yes 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 i mean is that in the top five or top three no it's a strong lineup yeah. it's always a strong lineup new york pro uh arnold's always a strong lineup yeah. obviously arnold classic ohio being more you know of a stronger lineup than any other arnold and uh i, I mean it was we were talking last podcast about iron man you know that was yeah. the first show of the year that yeah. lineup was stacked and Usually most of those guys in the top five, even top 10, mm -hmm. were always at the Olympia. Yeah. So the New York yeah. Pro is going to be stacked. So what's the guy's name? So the, the second winner? The winner is uh, Built to Laugh. Yeah. Picked, uh, Built to Laugh. Unfound cousin. Yeah. Built to Laugh, you know. I mean, give uh, Nick Walker a chance <laughs> you know, yeah. and enjoy the Muscle Meds, you know, Carnival Pro Team, man. You know? All right. Exactly. So let's go right into, since we're talking about the New York Pro, I guess, you know, obviously that's Steve Weinberger's big show. Steve Weinberger is known as the head judge of the Olympia, uh, of the IFBB Olympia. So, you know, that being said, I mean, he did come out and say that judging, right, has become very, I mean, people, people criticize judging a lot, but 99% of the judging is, in fact, correct. Correct. 99.9% so, is correct. So. Um, what is your opinion of that? Today, <laughs> except two thousand seven. For the exception of two thousand seven, that was a point one percent when it went wrong. <laughs> and what do you feel that the judging has gotten better this, you know, in the last last couple of years? And what is your opinion on judging? I mean, look, that's I mean, a good question. Did it get better? Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, you know, what is your thoughts on that? Uh, I'll answer question two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has gotten better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, and uh, That's you know, 2007. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's gotten better. Um, and again, it has to do a lot with the uh, you know, with, with the judges, you know, um, just I guess they kind of brainstorm a little more together, uh, yeah. And just uh, again, you know, you got to remember the first three one, or one through five is cool and then the rest is kind of like always the toss-up yeah so do you think anybody has ever gotten paid 
who under the like table, bribe, you mean under the table. Like, bri- do you think any judges in the past have ever been paid under the table? In your opinion, not to say that you know of anybody, but have you think? Do you think that's gone on? Um, I mean, third world countries, yes. I mean, because it's third world countries always, you know. But I cannot say I have seen it, I have witnessed it, or paid. I've noticed it, or I haven't paid on myself. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it's. Not that I heard of. I don't well, know. We did. I, would be I, like, I don't think there's ever been an article on that. Or, I mean, yeah, I remember people always came out and spoke negative about bodybuilding and those. But, but I don't think one person's ever said, you know what, I got this place in because I paid. Right. So you've never, never heard that story. Yeah, that story has not yet to come out. So that's why I can actually say that. But um, I don't anything's know possible on the third. The story is that's the, the conspiracy theories that were circulating. <laughs> Is that a big supplement company, for example, and they have a guy in Olympia, and then they push him to win. But the question is, are they paying? Who are they paying in that situation? Are they paying like all the judges on the panel? Are they paying just one judge? Are they paying the Olympia? Like, so that could be paying? believable, or who maybe paying? just like uh, it's just uh, paying for a sponsor. Well, you got to remember, right? But who are they paying to, to as a bribe? You know what I mean? Like, well, also you got to remember, it's basically the bodybuilders are the pawn in all this. Right, the companies will be the yeah, ones. Yeah, the that. companies and everybody else are the big players. So if somebody's getting paid, it's not any of the bodybuilders. You just hope to get what they deserve to get based on, you know, what company they represent. And I remember one year, Muscle Tech was always like top five. Yeah. They're athletes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Athletes, yeah. So, but they had good athletes. On that though. behalf, but they, but, I, can I had, say no? Uh, I mean, it's possible. But. but they had very good athletes, though. They signed no, the, they top, the top of the top, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, they had the best athletes, you know. But um, I, I wouldn't know, and uh, it, it could happen. It's possible. But I'm because, skeptical because, like, who are they paying exactly? Are they, are they buying every single judge on the panel? You see what I'm saying? Right. I'm, I'm skeptical I, about I, it. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think this is happening in a big show like Arnold or Mr. Olympia. It could be, like, on a smaller level maybe where they – that's, I mean, like, that's exactly what he said in the third country, all after America maybe, or yeah. a small show here in the United States. But I want to I wanna go back to the 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 – Word what you said about uh, Steve Womberg. Steve Womberg is, I believe, he's a, he's the best judge in the world, yeah. because because he's working long time on this industry as a judging, and he's not just judging the athlete on stage. He's working out on the gym too. His gym is one of the oldest gym in uh, in New York. Powerhouse and, and so many athletes from history of this sport. Visiting him, ask him about uh, what's the problem, what's what's what he see. He has a very special eyes to see a proportion, the uh, balance, symmetry. So, judge the the first thing the judge need is the eyes. Has to be good eyes. Judge and coach right. had need two. Uh, these two person need the uh, need the eyes, good eyes to see what's the problem to fix the problem. What the athlete needs to add it, what add this body, what's what they need to cut off to balance to become fixed. So, uh, Steve is one of them has a very very good eye. If any show Steve Womberger was sitting down and head judge, I believe it's hundred percent fair. But other judges, I don't know. No, I agree. Well, it's a combination the, of I think it's eight judges on the panel. Eight judges on the eight panel. Eight or nine. Nine. Eight or, yeah, eight or nine. Well, nine is the head judge, and then the, so yes, basically yes. you got to take a, an average <clears throat> score of everybody, right? So yeah. what I'm saying is, if if there was, but if, if the question if the Mr. Olympia <clears throat> judging uh, someone give the money for the judge, no, I don't think so. But if athletes on the stage affected in judges as a face or personality, yes, it could be. It could be athlete on stage more affected, yes, yeah, affected like, the yeah. judge as a favorite athlete. Then you can see that. Then you can. But see not like it. a transaction. No, no transaction. Yeah, definitely not personal because uh, uh, Steve is one of the guys that you will go see, and if you want it, good news, you're not gonna get it. If, yeah. if you look like crap. He's brutally honest, right? No, oh, he yeah. just he's very, he's you know. very two three. I mean, he he totally lose your face. Yeah, yeah. And he, doesn't, he doesn't care about feelings. Yeah. Yeah. No, and if. He didn't like it on a personal level. You brought it onto the stage. 
he gave it to you. Yeah. You know, so it's one of those things. It was like, you know what? If you did the work, you, you took the advice and you made the changes, you got the, the judging on, I on your favor. See, I see the amateur athlete. Nobody, no one doesn't know that that athlete goes to power powerhouse gym and still powerhouse gym and ask him, can you, can you check my body? And he go to the... Uh, takes the time. Takes the time, yep. put the time, talk to him, give him advice, work here, work, bring here exactly to the stage. So this is brilliant in this, this sport we have, actually. So many people on this sport, which is judges from different category or, or coaches, you cannot talk to them. They act and walk like God. But Steve Weinberger always humble right. and talk to athletes very well. It was yeah. a period of time when Phil Heath had this run of seven Olympia wins, right? Yeah. And during that period of time, and if, even after he defeated Kai for three years in a row, and it was like for another four years, he, he still kept winning. And I remember the fans were like so upset. Why does he keep winning? Well, you guys just favored him. And I remember I spoke to uh, Jumanian about that, and he was like, well, he's just that good. I mean, the judges select him because he was so dominant for like that that run that Obviously. he had. So it was like, well, as a judge, then because the fans don't want him to win anymore, you're supposed to just then say, okay, well, yeah, let's well just, that's why let's they make added, him lose, you know? You know, the people's champ kind of, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, exactly. That's the what judge they and yes. the people's champ like it. Let's to give you, that, throw you guys a bone. You know? <clears throat> exactly, yeah. But um, it's you know when you're stepping on that stage and it's the fine line. I mean, at the end of the day, now you have two guys that are great. You know, pose for pose. Now you have to go with presentation now. Yeah. Then it's so you start chipping away at them. You know, what's it gonna be? Are, are you gonna tire out earlier? You know, you're gonna be more aggressive. So now that's how they start chipping at you. Yeah. But and um, always that person, the lost himself and the fan don't like it. You know, it's and and. Yeah. And all the all the at all the fan of this sport has to be understand. Any athlete on the stage, they're working for win. Yeah. No one no one goes on stage. So for overall we, we here agree with Steve Weinberger then basically. Oh definitely. Right? No, judging has evolved. Has evolved and again it has to uh, I mean, with time everything is always supposed to get better. And, and I believe they get better. Much better. Yes. Compared to ten years ago, compared to fifteen years ago, get much better. I believe because it's too much show. This is experience. More shows, more More experience. show is more practicing, you know? Right. You, 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 the judge right now know what they want. They this know is, what they want. And, and also believe, I think, when I first kind of judging, you're talking about 20 years ago, 10 years ago, you, when you had, I mean, longer, you had a strong lineup. Oh, yeah. When you have, you know, five guys that are stacked up and, yeah, it was like so much harder. So either way, people wind up being unhappy, you yeah. know. Well, so, yeah. what's the next thing on the agenda? Well, I mean, the other uh, big item that got a lot of attention this past week was uh, Little Wayne's diet. Um, everybody knows Little Wayne, of course, and his uh, incredible physique. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, does, he does have gorilla forms, though, for his physique. But he's, he's like ripped. So, no body fat. Yeah. I don't know if he's on the, uh, you I know, mean, the cannabis like diet, pounds, or you know? is it it's because he's on a real legitimate diet? But no, no, all jokes aside, it looks like 2013 he gave up meat. Um, he became a vegetarian, um, and re up until recently, he announced that he has put a lot of focus on his diet. Um, he never, he never goes to the gym ever. He doesn't go to the gym. He was caught. Yeah, I was caught. He was on camera with, a, with meal prep. And meal prep. He had a bunch of meal prep, and I he guess he started cooking too. the meals. Yeah, he's skateboarding. He's a boarder. Yeah, he's a boarder. So he he started cooking his meals. He would pull out. Yeah. He said he hasn't tasted. <laughs> he hasn't tasted fast food. He hasn't had McDonald's. And yeah, he's a private chef. Basically, in like That's decades, apparently. I mean, your little Wayne making that kind of income. You don't really need to brag about all this, bro. You're supposed to be in shape when you're that loaded. You're supposed to be. Now you're telling me you're poor and you're you know staying in shape. You know, I think he was bragging about not eating McDonald's. Mm. Listen, man, there's three kinds of people that eat McDonald's, you know. Poor, because you have no choice, you know. Um, <laughs> people that don't give a damn, <laughs> and that's it. And kids, that's it, you know. Nobody else should be. 
No, those are the kind of people that hey, just man. choose it. But at the end of the day, you have money. You're always going to have, again, like you say, he had a chef and all that. You know, if you're rich and you're out of shape, it's because you choose to. It's not because you're in a situation, you know. Exactly. You could have a trainer. You could have a dietitian. You could have your food brought out to you. Your trainer can even pick you up, take you to the gym. I mean, all sorts of things, you know. So, you know, you can't feel bad for an out of shape rich person. You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, you just want to, I think it's one of those old school things that, you know, being rich and successful was, you know, you're supposed to be fat. But something. what about the fact that he says, <laughs> yeah, <bold. laughs> but, the fact, but the fact that he's able to maintain rip physique without ever going to the gym, do you find that impressive? With a little lean on the side. <laughs> Whatever works. But no, but no gym. No gym. Just take the lean. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you what do you say? So lean back. <laughs> so you saying people okay, I mean here's a good question. So people with money, what do you think what do you think money buys? I mean obviously time, but Chef, in terms of listen, you, you, you have say, a diet prior dietitian, you have the best uh supplementation, coach. you have the coach. You supplementation have, from a dietitian. I mean, <laughs> you name it, you can have it. You your know? own gym. It, your own gym, your private train. It's like you're supposed to be in shape, supposed to look good. It's like saying, oh, my God, look at this, you know, J, J Lo's hair. I'm like, you're supposed to have good yeah. hair. It's like, well, these things are like supposed to. Now, if you don't, it, it's, you, you gave up somewhere. The good example you, is you Jeff know, you Bezos. Quit. If you look at the Jeff Bezos previous pictures, he's on he's on TRT though. So well, he's right now. You can tell he's time, on TRT. He put it the time and effort to his for himself. But Elon Musk, you know, he getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> about the, about the rich people talking, he's supposed to. It just goes along with everything else. Success, you know, taking care of yourself. Before it was like you could be sloppy and just be. Rich, yeah. no, no, it's just, it won't fly. Well, I know? mean, look, I mean, you just make the argument, Donald Trump is still Rich. wealthy and he eats his McDonald's. He loves McDonald's. I mean, Warren Buffett lo eats McDonald's every day. Well, McDonald's yeah, but he's old school rich, you know. Old school rich, the new rich, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old money, huh? Old, yeah, old school rich, you don't really care that much, you know. It's like you can hire somebody to work out for you. <laughs> and, uh, he hoped to get in shape, you know. But you have to add, um, uh, he didn't drink. He he he's not drinking and he's not smoking. That's true. Well, he, does, he doesn't. Never, he, he never smoked. Well, he doesn't drink because drink of his brother's, you know. Yeah. Problem. So yeah. Kind of. He didn't want to reflect. Well, he, he did say he never drank either, though. Because his brother, he was just like you know. You remember his brother's he, an alcoholic. His yeah. brother was supposed to be at the helm when the father died. Yeah. And. Because, you know, of his, you know, falling short in deals, he gave it to Trump. But I think, obviously, he's, he's, his body is healthy. They can't digest McDonald's, you know? I mean, McDonald's, is, he doesn't have time to really sit down and eat. So he's, Is he eating every day, McDonald's? I don't know. When he was in the White House, he eating McDonald's. Every day? Yeah, that's crazy. Don't so cool. we have? Uh, Do they have chefs over there? Chef Ruff? Chef, <laughs> chef Ruff, yeah, man. That's Chef Ruff, man. Show up there, fucking feed him with his farms and shit. <laughs> I guess he. Did. Shout out to Chef Rush. <laughs> yeah, chef Rush yeah, is a good Rush. friend. Yeah, well, bro. So yeah, I mean, look, I think I think Little Wayne obviously is inspiring everybody out there to be healthy and you know young again. And, and we, so it's we a new world, you know. Everything's just now choices. So if, if you're, you know, you, you can buy. You know, horrible meat, or you could buy the good meat. At the end of the day, it's, it's just to feel good. Can you afford it? Even with inflation, it's one of those things that people still spend money on is their health. Look, with, during pandemic, what took off? Health. Yeah. Health was the number one thing. Speaking right? of health and eating, let's talk about this. So this is a interesting topic, right? So there was a study made, and I guess it's been, people knew that for years, but nobody, I guess, in the fitness industry, we talked about it. So everybody makes rice, obviously. Meal prep is a huge in, in fitness industry, right? And the study says that rice, it's a rice mold warning. It says never eat leftover cooked, cooked rice specifically. Uh, the mold forms in a cooked rice within 24 hours, which could be deadly. So not, not the dry rice, but the, when you cook the rice, you got to eat it immediately. And you cannot basically prep it for a week or you can die. Mm. Have you heard about anything like that before in your life? Um, no, and I'm still alive. Because you prepped a lot of, you prepped a lot of I, rice, right? Yeah. I prepped a lot of rice, carried it for 24, 48 hours, traveling to Europe, and 
yeah. ate it and you know i mean so that's a little studies, molding on I'm the still side doing that <laughs> that study is absolute bull then I you know what so. you're always gonna get one person that they, they just have a weaker immune system they try something and you know, they die and they just die <laughs> and it becomes you know one of the it's damn unfortunate for this guy you know but um it it's, happens sporadically it's not a, a big thing and again how was the right store you know was it 24 hours Maybe was it in a longer? fridge was it in the fridge? I mean, was it even in a container? You know, was it left open? Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of factors to it. So you can't yeah. say, you know, rice 24 hours, you know. If you you have go to the store by sushi, it's like sushi rolls. That's That's been cooked for at least. Oh, man. It's people buying, you know, fake freaking, what is it, crab sticks <laughs> <laughs> and surviving, you know. It's like a, a lot of crappy stuff out there, you know. I mean, I don't know. No, I think that just one thing is changed for the rice is test. When you cook the fresh, is fresh is more delicious. Man. Always, yeah, always. always man. A little <laughs> bit of salt, a little oil. That's man. just the test is changed. I, I think you know, but yeah. So, but now, now they have those uh, simple rices you can just carry and just pop it in the microwave and you're good Uncle to go. Uncle Ben's oh, yeah. make it, I think. Like, it's like a it's like yeah. a pouch, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I like the Korean ones, man. Those are the best. Koreans, yeah. Yeah, the Korean rice. I don't like hard rice. Ugh. I've had. Uh, pretty a uh, bad white rice at one point not because it was there was mold on it but it was because <laughs> maybe it was mold <laughs> it was because it was just wasn't cooked right maybe it was and, fake uh, rice <laughs> not good rice. <laughs> processed I, I, rice i believe the persian has the best rice because we are cooking double time and we wash in double time basmati basmati yeah we we basically put the like we, we put the um, uh, we cook the rice with water Isn't and then we carbs? wash it again is we that, wash it, we take it off the water, yeah. and then, and then we, we put the, in the pot, again, they cook again. Nice. So basically, we take it off all the carbs as much we can on the carbs. Yeah, probably that's why there's less carbs, right? Less, less, less carbs. Yeah, yeah. Less carbs. More or less carbs. So the same, yeah, with the same portion, rice has less carbs. You can yes. actually eat more. Exactly. And have almost. You, ha you basically, basically, you get the same portion, but less carbs. Yeah. That's how you gotta do it. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we answered that question. Yeah. yeah. Eat the rice as much as you want, basically. Yeah. Eat the rice and have your own cook if you want to look like Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're expecting the uh, New York Pro coming up, obviously, very soon, and hopefully, we'll, we'll have some predictions. Yeah, gotta have the predictions. See what the lineup is. I don't think we have. Nick a Walker wins. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's his show to lose. <laughs> his show to lose. It's, it's uh. He already do dominated Nick, the Olympia. Do you think Nick Walker can win Mr. Olympia or no? Definitely. Or you have to 100%. see him in the uh, 100% he no, can No, this year, this year. This year, I think 90% he can win. I mean, you have the way Hadi looked at the Arnold. He's got a big run, man, because yeah. Hadi, Hadi looked pretty Hadi was good, yeah. Yeah, he looked good, man. I mean, it was just um, ridiculous, man. Like, people, I mean, we spoke, time, some, time, but when he got there, it was like, nah, like, that's it. It's, it's hardy. And then, you know, from a distance, I, I, you know, everybody looks a little soft to me. So he looked hard. Yeah. He's too hard. <laughs> no matter how far I look. He's looked, too hard. They look he everyone. He just looks shredded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he stood out. I mean, they dominantly. look everyone soft because he's too hard. Yeah. So unless anybody comes in with his muscle bellies at the same time, the muscle bellies, that's what it is. And, uh, you know, the balance he has is good enough. And then you have Derek. Is Derek going to come in better than last year? Yeah. He needs to, mm -hmm. to get that again, you know. And um, he's got a four years rest. How do yeah. you, you know, and competed two shows already? I saw Derek uh, last week. I mean, in picture in, uh, with Hunter Rambot posted. I think he goes to fourth or fifth Master Olympia, back to back. Who? Derek? Yeah. Yeah, so... I, I, I believe... He's just so round, man. Derek can win five Mr. Olympia back-to-back. -back. You know, he's just... Right now, he has the he's most muscle. No, he has the most muscle right now, and he's got that Get young huge. muscle. Did you see his size? And the maturity's coming. Yes. Maturity's coming, and that's going to be very hard to beat. And very. You talk about muscle, maturity, the roundness, and at the same time, clean muscle. Clean muscle. Beautiful shape. No discrepancies, yeah. you know. Beautiful show. So, all right. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's see. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us in this week's Generation Iron Podcast. Remember to comment, like, 
And if you want to see any of our prior podcasts, please look into iHeartRadio or wherever you stream. Till next time. Eat your rice. All right, guys, I'm here today with some very useful information, some information that I think would be very beneficial to help aid you guys in your fitness journey. Now, if you've been following my fitness journey, you know that I've been using this product, Semtropin. Semtropin is a product that basically increases your stem cell and GH to help speed up your recovery process from your intense workout. Now, also, if you've been following my fitness journey, you know that I've recently had shoulder surgery and I've continued to use this product to help speed up my recovery process and now I'm feeling better than ever. So I recommend Semtropin to anyone that trains hard, trains intense, and to anyone that has some kind of injury to help speed up their recovery process.